So I think it was about a month ago, we did that hunt over on Parque Fernando where we pretty much just only hunted the evening and into the night a little bit. And it ended up going really well, like we got a diamond red deer by the end and I just enjoyed hunting the map differently than we normally do. So I thought we'd give that a shot on Verhunga today because I think it could be interesting. I mean, usually it's around 1500 that I reset the time back to morning because lions are done drinking and that's one of the animals that I tend to focus on a lot. But I've been really trying to fill those small plaques and springbuck are honestly one of my favorite species that can fill those plaques in the entire game. And I thought it might be fun to kind of focus on them a bit. And I mean, Verhunga's got a lot of feed zones in the open. So my other goal for this is to not fast travel for the entire basically hour that we have real time until dark just so we're kind of forced to go through the fields and potentially see stuff that we don't normally see especially at this time of day but there was a little level three kudu trotting through and a heart shot on the trot's not a bad way to start this but yeah um we're gonna go to these two lakes because that's a pretty good spring buck area and the good news is it's almost 15 th in fact it is 15 30 right now so lions are done drinking and they should impact us pretty much the least amount right now because they should just go and rest so it looks like that guy is the best spring buck in this little herd so i do have to use the 243 i probably could have brought the mosin and the 243 but i wanted a gun for jackal just because especially on a day where we're hunting things that i really don't know as well you never know when a level 9 jackal or a rare one might show up and i want to have the right gun for that and I do have the bow as well. It's really unlikely that we end up anywhere in Cape Buffalo territory, but should we see a Bighorns level 9 one, I want to have the bow ready to actually get him. But my plan for this hunt, since we're not fast traveling, is to go across to this lake, probably up into central Savannah a bit, and then across and up into here, because this lake is really good for Springbuck, and it's the spot that I've killed a couple of albinos and I think a diamond, and I haven't been up there in forever, so... That's where I want to end up. We'll see if we can get there in an hour. But that's kind of the current plan, which I'm sure that'll change really quickly because it always does. But that's kind of what I want to do. And we'll see if our level 3 spring buck's big enough to be a gold. He is actually. Not too bad. So I knew that was the horn shape that can be, but it's also possible for them to be too small. So got some decent luck with that. Oh, man. Is that the small diamond horns, but a 4? Yeah, it is, so I'd like to go get that one. Already. Plane's getting thrown off, but that's not a bad way to do it. Well, at least we know it's going to be a good size one, instead of just picking up the max weight track and having potentially really one that's not even the max score estimate. That's probably his track there. So we'll go and see if we can maybe get him down, and hopefully it won't take too long. That should be him there. So luckily they kind of stopped right at the top of that hill, because otherwise I might have ended up getting way too close to them. But, while well, he's not jumping around, we'll just go ahead and get him. That was a single lung, so not too bad since we kind of rushed that. Definitely the best spring buck we've shot in a while anyway. But, yeah. I've said it over and over. I'm trying to really only do diamonds and gold scoring rares in the trophy lodge, so not something we'll keep. So that's a smaller four, but at level four, it's a guaranteed gold anyway. And I guess... If nothing else, anything we can get for response is going to be a good thing. Because at some point I really have to commit to going for these things, because otherwise what we're going to end up doing is filling all those small plaques with ducks and geese, which I don't mind filling a lot of them with those. But I'd like a bit more variety in the lodge, so I think we should probably make sure we take stuff out, like that out that we can. Honestly, he's barely bigger than that level 3, so he must be a really low 4. But it was good to know it was a guaranteed gold anyway, and there were definitely other ones here that I didn't know about. But I'm not seeing any that are all that special, nothing really worth throwing bullets at when they run away. So we'll go around the lake still, because I want to go up to this spot, and probably there could be other zones around here. Okay, sadly, that level 2 male is our best option at this zone, so we're going to get him. And unless I've missed something, the only other two spring buck here are that level two female, and I don't know that, oh, there's a three male there. That one I didn't see. There was another level two female, which I thought was the only other one there. And I don't know that there's any way we're getting that three, so he must have been just perfectly hidden. 
He is actually slowing down there. Can I... Not quite. He didn't even hear that, though. So I maybe didn't aim high enough. There we go. Don't know if we got brain or neck or what, but just for the sake of getting the respawn, we'll definitely take that. And I think that's the other level two that I was talking about, but yeah, you don't see male springbuck that small very often. Okay, so it was a brain shot, but actually he would have just been a silver anyway, so not like ruining a gold to get that, and would certainly say that's worth it for the respawn anyway, but it's 1739 right now. I think we're going to have time to make it down here and up to that other lake before the end of daylight. I believe, does Springbok stop right at 1900? They do, so we kind of got to make it there by the end of daylight or the Springbok are going to be gone, so we'll try to only get decent animals and kind of ignore the smaller stuff. Man, another Max 4. I think that's the smaller, like, horn shape for it, but still. Max weight and score estimate, and while he's walking... Hopefully we got that in a lung. Kind of looks like we didn't. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't need to aim that high. He's like 220, though. That was going to be really tough with the way he's running. You know what? That second shot missed. Or the third shot, I guess. I really thought the like follow-up was too far back. But he went down really fast. So I don't know if we got some kind of like liver, stomach, intestine kind of thing. But we might have saved that. Actually, it was double lung. It just looked like it hit so far back, but not bad. I really didn't think I'd be able to do that. And the first shot was too low. Pretty much led him perfectly, just a little bit too low. I thought, really, we aimed somewhere around his spine. 230's not that far, but I've kind of noticed that before, that the 243 feels to drop really quickly, so I guess maybe I should have expected that. So we're a little bit late. It looks like they're actually leaving their zone right now. But the good news is, as dark as it is, it's kind of useful. I don't think that light's actually helping us, but at least, you know, with him moving, it's a little easier to see what's in there. And I'm not seeing anything special. I kind of think that might have been it. I would assume they all leave at the same time. That one is a four, though. So if he slows down, which he might have, if he slows down and we can keep him spotted at least, that actually is not bad. All right, so I wasn't sure if we are going to be able to get him or not, because we already struggled at long range before, but not bad. We actually got a decent one out of coming here. And we did almost hit too low, just bottom of the lung there, and somehow double lung. But yeah, uh, just to see, because I never hunt for Hunga at night. Now that we kind of got through that one hour of not fast traveling, I want to go to a couple of spots just where we can like quickly check, like this lake here. Because Gemsbuck are drinking right now, and I never really hunt there late time, and I don't know what else is active, so just since we're kind of here already, I want to see what we can find. This is actually something I was hoping to see, so that last spot had a level 3 female Gemsbuck, and that's it. That actually could be a diamond wildebeest but yeah this is a spot that we didn't get to on our wildebeest hunt and i knew wildebeest started to feed again i believe it's right at 1900 so figured we'd try it out and at least we have a shot and maybe getting a diamond so i figured the best thing we can do is get in here and probably try to call because the one that we want kind of in the middle there where there's no shot go figure though this isn't even meant to be a wildebeest hunt and this herd's cooperating more than any of the ones we had on the actual Wildebeest hunt, so that's just about the way it would go, but that one's the one we want, and we're going to keep the light off so we can see a little bit better. I think we can probably get that. Just kind of keep it away from his head. So that should be kind of like lung liver, and he's going down pretty quick, so I'd say we got that. And hopefully he's going to make it. It'd be nice to get another diamond wildebeest even if it's not the bighorn diamond like i like ah oh, man he's literally barely into the top estimate it's 265 to 290 and he's 265.53 and they got to be around like 270 ish to make diamonds so still pretty far away but i guess good to get him out of the way for maybe future respawns and i do want to go down to this lake here 
because, as I said, Gemsbuck are drinking right now, and we should be able to see some down there, and I don't know what else may be in this area at night, because I really only try here in the morning. I think that's about as good as it's going to get, unfortunately, so we'll try to get him with the 7 mil. I would actually like him to have his head up, but can just go for that, and hopefully that got a lung. Guess he's just dying slow, because they're actually pretty tough, and... I definitely just heard Wildebeest, but it should be the herd that we shot that one out of, so I don't think we need to worry about that. I didn't even realize that was a beige. Nice. Gold beige is actually not a bad way to end, so... Yeah, I mean, no diamonds for the lodge, but if it was a guarantee, the game probably wouldn't be very fun for very long, but... We did actually do pretty decent as far as getting animals and hopefully having respawns for the future. We got a lot of Springbuck, uh, the one nice Wildebeest, and I think that was the only Gensbuck we shot, but... Eventually, I do want to get a diamond mail for the lodge, so even that's actually working towards respawn. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.